Welcome to my tutorial on tonicization aka secondary dominoes. Let's get right to it. If I'm on a one chord in the key of C, I would have absolutely no problem moving to the four chord and certainly no problem moving back as it's a plagal cadence. Even if I extend it out to a four note chord, this is still a one chord. To a four chord, What if I wanted to push into that four chord? I mean, it goes there without any problem, but let's say I wanted to give it a shove. Uh, that's where tonicization comes in. In order to understand tonicization, you really have to step outside the box. In this case, step outside of the key. So I'm gonna look at my four chord and see the F chord, only I'm gonna just temporarily think of it as a one chord in the key of F. Oh, I know it's a four chord in C, but right at the moment I'm thinking that's a one chord in F. What chord would push into the one chord? Well, I'm hoping you'd say it's five chord, C7, because of the tritone. What if I could incorporate that whole philosophy back into my original key of C? So if I'm on a one chord, I could add a major seven, still a one chord. I could add a six, still a one chord. But if I added my B flat, oh, all bets are off. It's no longer a one chord. We can see that it's a five chord. But a five chord of what? Well, a five chord of F, but we're in the key of C, so we just would simply say it's a five of four. We already know that it's an F chord, so we don't need to identify it if we're in the key of C. So a C7, and the key of C would be a five of four. And it will push me into the four chord. An old country and western song brings that to light. If I do the simplified piano version of it, green, green grass at home, I'm on a one chord. do a lot with that if I enhance it first of all getting off the triads and adding extensions and introducing tonicization. Let's give it a listen. Major 7, I'm now on a 5 of 4. Other chords can be a reciprocant of tonicization. For example, the five chord itself. We know the five in the key of C is G7 because of the tritone. It goes right back to the one. But if, what if I wanted to target the five chord with a little more push? Well, if I were in the key of G, which I'm not, but if I was, the five chord of G would be, I'm hoping you're gonna tell me it's a D7. So a D7 would push me into the five chord. Not to be confused with the two chord, which is minor, which also does the same thing, a little more gentle, but the five of the five, which that would be a D7, be the five of the five, would push into the one chord. There's a song from the 50s by the Everly Brothers, all I have to do is dream. When they go into the bridge, they make use of all these things that I'm talking about. Let's give it a quick listen. to one. Oh, there's the tonicization. So a four to a three, we're right down to a two, to a five. Oh, there it is, five of four. Instead of the two chord going to the five, I'm using the five to it. You can hear the push into the five. So on and so forth. A song right out of New Orleans. Everybody learns it as a kid when the saints go marching in. Simplified piano version, starting off on a one chord, key of C. Back to one, four, 
Three chord wonder. With what we know now, we can certainly change that around. First of all, I'm going to get off the triads and introduce four and five note chords and of course tonicization. I think you'll notice quite a difference in the sound quality. Instead of going directly to the five, I'm going to split it between the two. Five of four to the four. Now we talked about the four minor chord when we were examining the three chord in the secondary movements. I hope you looked at that video. And that's gonna, you can feel that pull back to the one chord, to the one, to the five of five, to the seven, to the five, and back home. Tonicization and that four minor chord can be used in a bass pattern, which adds a lot of interest to your playing. Let's just look at the last part of the song. Five sus, resolve. Okay, here I am on a one chord to a five of four, third inversion. There's my four chord, first inversion, four minor, first inversion. One chord, second inversion. Five of five, first inversion. To the five, and back. Here it is up to speed, and you can get the feeling of how that bass works with the tonicization. Of course, other chords in the key can be tonicized as well, or targeted if you prefer. Let's look at the possibilities. I'm on my one chord. Of course, it already has its own five chord right out of the key. In this case, in the key of C, G7. It takes us to the one chord. The two chord can be targeted by an A7, which would be a five of two. The three chord can be targeted by a B7. The four chord can be targeted by a C7, not to be confused with a one chord, which has an extension of a major seven or six, but dominant seventh, that'd be the five of four. The five chord can be targeted by a D7 chord, five of five. The six chord can be targeted by an E7, the five of six. Yeah, we don't really target the seven chord. It's a bit unstable with its diminished quality, so we tend to leave that alone. But all the other chords are fair game. In fact, there's so many possibilities. Let me just give you a quick idea before I close off here. Look at the possibilities. Here I am on a one chord. I can go right across the top diatonically with my three chord, my six, my two to the five, and back to the one. Or I can go five on five on five right across the bottom. E7 is the five of the six, but it could also go to the A7 just as easily. A7 is the five of two, but it could just as easily carry on to the five of five, which would carry on. Okay, let's just take a listen. That was strictly diatonic across the top chords right out of the key. Here I'm going to do five on five right across. Here I'm going to mix and match. Let's start off with a uh, one chord here. I'll crisscross down to my six chord. And I'll crisscross back to my five of five. Five. And don't forget that G7 could be split between the two and the five, so I could have If you ever saw Back to the Future when Marty McFly, aka Michael J. Fox, went back to 1955 and walked into the malt shop, what were they playing? Mr. Sandman. 
12 fives on fives. So one, five of three. should wrap it up for the time being. We covered an awful lot in tonicization, secondary dominance. It's going to take time to digest all of this, so I strongly recommend that you review the video. Look at other examples in sheet music where tonicization appears. If you come across a five chord that's not the regular five chord in the key, the chances are very good that it's tonicization. Play it. Listen to it see how it affects the music. When you have a handle on that, we'll be looking at the possibilities of extending tonicization when we meet up at part two.